All right, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, today we are on lesson 10. We will be reviewing the magic paintbrush. All right, some objectives for today is I can recount information about ancient China. I can describe elements. Of fiction in a folk tale. Of fiction in a folk tale. I can understand the word praise. I can understand the word praise. All right, so our vocabulary for today, the first word is cork. Cork. A cork is a stopper made out of the bark of a cork, cork oak tree. Mom put the cork in the bottle so the liquid would not spill out. We have the word praise. Praise. Praise is to give congratulations or compliments on a job well done. So, like in the morning when I give you your tiger bus for reading, that's a form of praise. Okay? Gilly received much praise for her science project. Regret. 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 To feel sorry about. To feel sorry about. I regret walking barefoot in the snow. I regret walking barefoot in the snow. snow. All right, scowl. Scowl. A look of anger or disapproval. A look of anger or disapproval. Chris' mother gave him a scowl when she saw him being mean to his sister. Show me what you think a scowl means. Show me with your face. All right. All right. Look. Elijah, come point to China on the map. All right, good job. So today's read aloud is set on the continent of Asia in the country of China. What do you already know about writing and inventions in ancient China? So what do you know about the writing in China? Talk about it in your group. What do you know about the writing and interventions in China. Halo. 
kind of story. What? Well, yeah, it was a trick to tell, and it's another one. Valerie? Folk tale. A folk tale. Good job. All right. What is a folk tale? What is a folk tale, Louise? What is a folk tale, Louise? A story that is not real. Okay, so Louise said a story that is not real. We know that that is fiction, right? Yes. So what is a folk tale? SMA? What is a folk tale?
progress is going to be about. Okay, so Bethany says that someone is going to get a magic paintbrush. Raise your hand if you agree. All right. I, I, I guess I can say about a magic paintbrush, it's about a paintbrush, right? Yes. How do we know that this story is fiction just by the title? Lauren? Delaysia, how do we know by the, the title, The Magic Paintbrush, that this story is fiction? <laughs> have, have we ever in real life had a magic paintbrush? No. No. Okay. So just by the title, Me too. 
One night after Maling had worked hard all day, he fell into a deep sleep. In a dream, he saw an old man with a long white beard and a kind face. The old man held something in his hand. Take this, he said to Maling. It is a magic paintbrush. Use it with hair. When Maling awoke, he found his fingers wrapped around a paintbrush. Am I still dreaming, he wondered. Quickly, he quickly he got up and painted a bird. The pitcher flapped his wings and flew away. He painted a deer as soon as he had put the last spot on the animal's coat. It brushed its nose against my wing, then ran into the woods. It is a magic brush, said my wing. He ran to where his friends lived. He painted toys for the children. He painted cows and tools for the farmers. He painted bowls full of delicious food for everyone. Is Marlene using his magic paintbrush with kindness? Yes, he is. So I want you to take one minute and discuss with your group what you will use your magic paintbrush for. What would you use your magic paintbrush for? Painted a slimy toad 
that hops right on the emperor's head. <laughs> Disobedient boy, said the emperor. You will regret that. He grabbed the magic paintbrush and ordered his soldiers to throw my Ling in jail. Then the emperor called for his royal painter. Take this brush and paint me a mountain of gold, he commanded. But when the royal painter finished the picture, all the gold turned into rocks. Why do you think the royal painter's mountains of gold turned into a pile of rocks? Christian? Okay, Christian said he was taking too long to paint it. And Kedrick. He was being beat to the little boy's mom and he being thought and threw him in jail. All right, so we have because he took too long to paint and because he was being mean. Now, remember, what did the old man tell him? He said, use the paintbrush with what? Kindness. Kindness. He used another word that means the same thing as kindness. He said, with care. With care, okay? So said the emperor, this brush will only work for the boy. Bring him to me. Marlene was brought to the emperor. You will paint for me, said the emperor. I will give you gold and silver, fine clothes, a new house, and all the food and drink you want. Thumbs up if you will paint for the emperor, if he offered you those things. Thumbs down if you wouldn't. He's going to be me. Okay, y'all, I'll see all thumbs down. Oh. All right, one, two, three. Thank you. Thank you. Marlene pretended to agree. What do you want me to paint? He asked. Paint me a tree that has gold coins for me, said the emperor with greed in his eyes. Marlene took the magic paintbrush and began to paint. He painted many blue waves, and soon the empire saw an ocean before him. That's not what I told you to paint, he barked. But Marlene just kept painting. In the ocean, he painted an island. And on that island, he painted a tree with gold coins and leaves. Yes, yes, that's more like it, said the emperor. Now quickly paint me a boat so, I, so that I can get to the island. Marlene painted a big sailboat. The emperor went on board with many of his highest officials. Marlene painted a few lines and a gentle breeze began to blow. The sailboat moved slowly toward the island. Faster, faster, shouted the empire. Marlene painted a big curving stroke and a strong wind began to blow. That's enough wind, shouted the emperor. But Marlene kept painting. He painted a storm and the waves got higher and higher, tossing the sailboat like a little cork or bottle stopper on the water. Then the waves broke the boat to pieces. The emperor and his officials were washed up on the shore of the island with no way to get back to the palace. And as for Marlene, people say that for many years, he went from village to village using his magic paintbrush to help everyone wherever he went. All right, so how would you describe my lean? Ready? It was good, okay. What was good about him? What made him good? He helped people. He helped people in what way? How did he help? He drew, he drew toys and food. Okay? After he drew the toys and food, what happened? He just drawn. What happened when 
What happened when they when he painted? Help her out. Hello. It came to life. So whatever he drew, it came to life. Why do we think he drew the, the toys and the food for the people in his village? Louis? To help them. To help them because we know that, did they have money in his village? No. No, they were very poor, right? No. We know that because was he able to afford a paintbrush? No. No. It said that he was so poor that he couldn't afford to buy a paintbrush. So, I want you to talk in your groups. I'm going to give you a minute. And discuss character, character, character traits of my man. Meaning, what type of person is he? If you had to describe him, what words would you use to describe him? Paintbrush is not real. Uh, 
Hold on, hold on. Let's bring it back. Is a paintbrush real? Yeah. Okay. It's a magic. It's not magic. Okay. She corrected herself. She corrected herself. Okay. <laughs> All right. Who are the two main characters in this story? Who are the two? Thank you. 
we're going to take two minutes to discuss with our group. What are the important events in this story? What are the important events in this story? Talk about it in your group. In your group, they poured it. Okay. 
Okay, so after he got the paintbrush, we said that he helped his village, he painted, he was respectful, and then what happened? He, uh, they took the Oh, I know Christian brush. has his hands up if he has an answer. <laughs> I know he has his hand up. All right. Yes, Christian, I'm going to go ahead and call on you because you were so eager. He, they took it. Who took it? The man. And what was the man's name? What was he called? The Empire. The Empire. The Emperor. All right, let's calm down on the talking. And then what, Kedrick? Are we describing or we are saying the important event? Okay, so the Nani just gave us the moral of the story. Okay? So we are, when we're talking about the moral of the story, I'm going to call on you, okay? Because that's exactly what the moral of the story is. Valerie? What happened after he gave the emperor the brush? Michaela? He goes and goes turned into rocks. Okay. So the emperor's person, painter, drew the gold and turned into rocks. Then what happened? Kelsey? All right. So then afterwards, Malin drew what? Did he trick them? No, he drew. Mommy yeah. tricked them. He tricked them by doing what? He drew. He drew an ocean. In the boat, and and the empire was stuck on the island with no way to get back. Right? Yeah. All right. At the beginning of the story, what does Molly want to do, Louis? What does he want to do at the beginning of the story? He wants to paint. Why can't he paint? Oh, I love it. Because he was so poor, he couldn't buy a paintbrush. Good job, Louise. Before Molly gets the magic paintbrush, how does he make art? How does he make art before he gets the magic paintbrush? The end. Graham. How does he... Do the, uh, how does he make his art? With his hands, okay? He uses his hand, okay? He dips his hand in the water and uses his wet fingers to draw a fish on rock, okay? What makes the paintbrush magical? What makes it magical? Prince, what makes it magical? Um, because, um, because, um, um when, when he, um, have fall asleep, he has a feeling about it, um, about someone, I mean, an old, old man. But what makes the, what makes the paintbrush magical? How do we know the paintbrush is magical, Harmony? Yes, whatever my name draws, it becomes it becomes real. It comes alive. Okay, let's do our word work. In the read aloud, you heard Malin enjoyed hearing the people's praise. But still he thought, if only I had a paintbrush. Say the word praise with me. Praise. Praise is a 
congratulation or admiration. Juliana received much praise for the story she wrote in school. Have you ever given or received praise? Try to use the word praise or praise in a sentence, okay? Lilani. So listen to the question, okay? Have you ever received praise? Okay, so Liani received praise when she knocked the piñata piñata off the string. Okay, Halo. All right. Halo received praise when she gave her mom a hug. All right. Good job. All right, so now you're going to open up your knowledge book, and we're going to start on activity 9.1. We are going to write a draft book, okay? But before we get into our uh, activity, what was the moral of this story, Lilani? Lilani. Oh. Uh, okay, Lilani said that the moral of the story is do not think about yourself all the time, but think about others, okay? All right, good job. 